Well, hooning's been a big thing on the uh, on the political front lately, and uh, anybody that drives a modified classic muscle car, they're really uh, a target. And Russell, you've been getting a bit political about this stuff lately. I've been involved in the scene for as long as I can remember. I, I, it is who I am. It's in my blood. I I, I couldn't live without having a, a modified car. And to target someone who's not doing anything wrong, um, and to try to put you off the road because your car is different to somebody else's car, it's just wrong. I want to be able to drive my car wherever and I, I kept seeing all this stuff where people were getting hassled all the time and I don't know, it just started off writing letters to, to different people. I've written letters to um, the Premier and the Police Chief and, and we're getting, I guess you get lumped in with the 1%. It, it, there's, there's some elements of, every, of any scene that doesn't do the right thing and, you know, but it's not... It's not about the one percent. It's about the ninety odd percent that are doing the right thing and should should definitely not be pulled up and hassled just because their car's old. You know, we're Aussies. This is who we are. We 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 are the four door car. We we are the big country with the V eight. You know, that's what it is. You know, I don't want to be lumped in with with the guys that are doing the wrong thing. I just want to be able to go for a cruise on a Sunday Arvo with my mates and or with my family. I don't want to get hassled just because my car's different to the other cars that are going past. We just work on them. We probably spend more time under the bloody bonnet working on the thing than we do driving the thing. Absolutely. And when, I dro when I've got that car, I don't want to go out and wreck my $2,000 rims and tyres. I don't want to do that. Why would I do that? It's crazy. It's insane, isn't it? And, and that's the big thing, I think. You know, whoever makes the decisions in the, in the government, they're really looking at the fact that, you know, oh, you know, you've got a fast, tough car, you're going to get out there and you're going to play up and you're going to do some damage and, you know, you're going to hurt somebody else. But at the end of the day, when a car is worth, and you know, I, I wouldn't even put a value on that thing of yours, you know. Mm. I, you know, everybody's got their own price for a car. Mm. But are you going to go out and damage it? When, when I was writing all the letters and I've met, with, I've met with a couple of the local members and, you know, for them it's all about road safety. And, and, and look, honestly, I have no issue at all with road, was trying to stop the carnage, trying to stop the, the, the dangerous driving and, and all that sort of I have no problem with it all. If you're doing stupid stuff on the road, I have no problem at all with, with the laws, that the way that they're being written. But I do have a problem with the way that they're interpreted by the police and the, the fact that they just go out of their way to target a car that's different for no reason at all. It, no law broken, nothing. But I'll pull over, mate, and we'll go through your car. What did I do wrong, officer? Nothing. Attitude, see? Well, you know, the, the, the thing that, that I really like, now here's a guy who likes his classic cars and he, he likes to go out cruising. Now, mate, if you get classed as a hoon, which incidentally is a derogatory term, yeah. if you get classed yeah. as a hoon and then you have the local neighbourhood saying, you know, we're being terrorised by hoons, mm. to terrorise you have to be a terrorist. We have laws against that sort of thing in this country, mate. If I start my car and it's a bit lousy and loud and the neighbours think it's loud and I'm a hoon because my car's loud, well, that's just nuts.